What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey P. Joe P. Zapia, back with another video here over at Fantasy Pros MLB. And I know the question you're asking yourself, who are the experts drafting in 2024? Well, I did some homework, did some research, consulted quite a few of them, and I came up with a list of 12 names for you to pay attention to because these experts are paying attention to. That means you should be paying attention to them, too. I hope you've been paying attention, but a great way to put some of this knowledge to use is to go and join an underdog fantasy baseball league right now. That's right, because draft season is here for MLB, and the easiest place to play fantasy baseball is at Underdog Fantasy. We've already been active in their best ball format, Fantasy Drafts, where you draft your team or 20 rounds, and the best score from the team you drafted becomes your score each week for the MLB season. Drafts are constantly filling up each and every day, so go to Underdog Fantasy right now Draft in the dinger for your share of $750,000 in prizes. The first place being a cool $100,000. Not too shabby. And it's only 10 bucks to draft and the tournament closes on opening day. So time's running out March 28th. So get in while the getting's good. Jump in, sign up at Underdog and use that promo code FPMLB to get your first deposit match up to $100. That's 10 free dinger drafts. Use that promo code FP. MLB and join underdog today and get drafting for the upcoming MLB season. All right, everybody, here you go. Here are the names you've been waiting for 12 players. The experts are drafting and so should you. Number one, Tariq Skubal, Detroit Tigers starting pitcher. There's no denying who the ace of the Tiger staff is. It's clearly Tariq Skubal. After hearing for years and years about the Mises and Mannings of the world, it's actually been Skubal who has taken to the hill and become the dominant force in Detroit. Last year, he posted an impressive 2.80 ERA with a .90 whip. And on top of that, his XERA was just 2.30 with an XFIP of 2.56. He posted a whopping 102 strikeouts over 80 innings, walking just 14 guys over that span while picking up seven wins for the Detroit Tigers. The big question remaining with Scooble since he's returned from 2022 flexor tendon surgery is innings. 149 in 2021 was the highest mark Scooble has reached so far at the big league level. And last year, he posted just 80 in the 15 games when he returned from that injury in 22. So basically, Scooble is set up for success. The only question remains whether or not he can possibly go to that 175, 180 inning mark successfully and maintain all this incredible performance that he gave us last season. The experts are betting he can, so you should be betting that also. Number two, Matt McClain, Cincinnati Reds middle infielder. Matt McClain came out of relative obscurity last year and posted some incredible numbers at AAA over 40 games, including a slash line of 340, 467, 688, with an 1154 OPS. He took those numbers to Cincinnati in the big league club over 89 games and posted a 290, 357, 507 slash with an 864 OPS. Matt McClain threw in 14 steals last year for the Reds along with 16 homers and became an asset in all leagues. Now, he did strike out 115 times over those 89 games, so slight concern there. But when you factor in the position eligibility of Matt McClain, the power, the speed, he's going to be a roto darling and his versatility will likely keep him in the lineup for the Reds. So despite the possibility for some regression, the ADP is at a nice enough number where you're getting that power speed combination from McClain in a favorable ballpark on a Reds roster on the rise in the National League Central. So draft McClain, yippee Kaye. Sorry, there was a John McClain reference. Man, oh man, do I love Die Hard. Number three on our list, O'Neill Cruz, shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, I've talked about Cruz on some other videos, but I want to drag this back again one more time because Cruz is a player that the experts are drafting. And why? Because of the power speed combination. I know last year he got robbed of a season because of that ankle injury that happened over the first nine games of the season. So we didn't exactly get the sample size we were looking for. But at 25 years old entering this year, he has the potential to not only put up a 2020 season, but maybe even a 30-50 season. I know that sounds kind of lofty, but when you consider the ADP is somewhere around the 85 range right now, currently for Cruz, you'll see a lot of experts taking advantage of that, especially in the Roto formats. So this Pittsburgh Pirates lineup is starting to get a little bit better than it was a few years ago. That's a good thing. At the very least, the floor is outstanding when it comes to Cruz in terms of 2020 ability. How's the batting average going to be? Well, he still strikes out a little bit too much for my taste, but... The experts are telling you the upside is real, the ADP is good, so be aggressive when it comes to Cruz. 
Number four, Bobby Miller, starting pitcher, Los Angeles Dodgers. Another one of my favorites from another video. Well, guess what? I'm not the only expert that's drafting Bobby Miller. The Los Angeles Dodgers are the prohibitive favorite, not just to win the National League, but also to win everything, which means a lot of W's, a lot of run support on a team that could be juggernaut 110 win good in 2024. But the good news about Bobby Miller is that he doesn't have a lot of the pressure on him that some other guys like even Yamamoto in this rotation has, or even Walker Buehler to bounce back from injury. Bobby Miller is healthy. He had a 4-1 to strikeout to walk ratio last year, a 1.10 whip, and a 3.76 ERA over his 22 starts. And he should have no problem reaching that 175 to maybe even 180 innings in 2024 as well which is huge because a lot of times these young pitchers get limited so when you have a good young pitcher on a dodger team that's loaded for bear bobby miller could find himself winning easily 15 games this year which would be huge again don't discount the amount of confidence a young pitcher can gain from having such support around him not just in the rotation but in the lineup as well so bobby miller big things for bobby in 2024 Coming in at number five on our list is Josh Young, third baseman for the Texas Rangers. Young played 121 games last year for the World Series champs, and he posted a 266 batting average, 23 homers, 70 RBIs, and he scored 75 runs as well. Young was a player we were very excited about a few years ago before injuries unfortunately derailed him. Last year was his post-hype sleeper season, but he is still relatively cheap considering the average ADP is somewhere around 110 right now as of recording this video. He does strike out a little bit, that 29% strikeout rate a little bit high, the walk rate at 5.8 a little bit low. So if he can kind of work on that just a little bit, you're looking at a guy over 150 games who could easily go 30, 100, 100 if this Rangers offense stays healthy and stays productive as it did towards the end of last year. So Josh Young, one of those guys at third base, Maybe even get him as a corner guy in more shallow leagues, but regardless, Young is a guy the experts are targeting, and so should you, in 2024. Number six on our list, outfielder Riley Green of the Detroit Tigers. Look at this, two Tigers on a list, and it's positive? Who would have thought? But Riley Green teased us last year in 2023 with a breakout. Unfortunately, things fell a little bit short, just 99 games for him, but... In those 99 games, we saw 11 homers, 7 steals, and a 288 batting average for Riley Green. His 349 OBP and 447 slugging started to show you the player that we were used to seeing in the minor leagues of the Detroit system that we've been so excited about for so long. Over his minor league career, this was a guy that had a 294, 374, 489 slash with an 862 OPS over 201 games. So Riley was kind of sent forward quickly into major league development and he has struggled just a little bit at times at the big league level however in 2023 he started to show that it's time for a big turnaround and right now this could be the last time you're getting him at a discount the experts are seeing him go as an adp average somewhere around 170 overall as of recording this video but that my friends is not going to last in fact it's going to go up quickly in fact at some point you've seen him go already in the top 150 picks and it wouldn't surprise me if that continues to rise as people evaluate the outfield pool as a whole and green becomes one of the trendy fantasy darlings because the experts are already in on him and talking about him a lot just like me so instead of talking about it just draft him and reap the rewards of a tiger organization starting to turn things around and riley green being one of the reasons why Let's take a quick break in the action to tell you about Trophy Smack. Are you ready to make a bold statement in your fantasy baseball league? Show your league mates you mean business with the bling ring from Trophy Smack and stand out as the true champion you are. We've teamed up with Trophy Smack to bring you an epic giveaway that will take your league celebrations to the next level. To be eligible, all you need to do is subscribe to the Fantasy Pros MLB YouTube channel, your ultimate source for fantasy baseball insights and updates, and leave a comment on any of our videos. That's it. The best part will be announced the lucky winner right here on the channel so don't forget to turn on those notifications that way you'll be the first to know when new episodes drop and when it's time to claim your prize from trophy smack and now back to the action number seven on our list paul goldschmidt first baseman of the st louis cardinals not everybody has to be a young and trendy player on this list no 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 paul goldschmidt is a grizzled veteran just like me and last year coming off a bit of a down season but 
Let's not throw out all of the good that Paul Goldschmidt has done and how consistent he has been for so many years. 2023 was kind of a collective dud for the Cardinals in general, and I'm looking at a bounce back for this whole team in 2024. They were aggressive out there in the free agent market, trying to rebuild the rotation as well. So I think Goldie could get back to easily that 3100-100 kind of guy that he was in 2022 and 2021 and basically his entire career. So yeah, the 25 homers was disappointing. Yeah, maybe some people are predicting the beginning of a decline for Paul Goldschmidt, but me, mm -mm. I am on the opposite end. I am buying. He is one of the best values at first base, currently being drafted somewhere around the current ADP of 65. To me, that's a value for a 3100-100 guy, not to mention the fact you look at the career batting average, it's always been in that 290 to 300 range. He could bounce back across the board and become a huge win for your fantasy league. And I'm not the only one that noticed, so have the experts, so you should be like us and draft Paul Goldschmidt in 2024. Number eight, Brandon Fott. Pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Fott has an electric arm, but he also was far too hittable early on in 2023 and gave up far too many home runs as well. Bouncing between the bullpen and the rotation for the D-backs, Fott did improve in the second half and was an asset in the postseason for the D-backs, making some big starts for them, which means they have confidence in this kid, which is huge because his rotation spot should be safe in 2024. If he can build on some of that late season success and turn that into 2024 gold, you could be looking at a huge fantasy asset in 2024 when it comes to Brandon Fott. His early ADP is somewhere around the 220 mark. That's pretty late for a guy with an alarm this electric, and that's why many experts are taking advantage of that ADP, putting him on their roster, and waiting to see if Fott can build upon what last year seemed like a turning of the corner. Number 9, Jaron Duran, outfielder for the Boston Red Sox. Over 102 games last year, Jaron Duran hit 8 homers, stole 24 bases, and hit 295. Not too shabby for a guy who had been toiling around the minor leagues for a few years recently. And yes, he will be 27 in 2024. Unfortunately, his season got cut short because of a toe injury last season. However, if you look at the minor league track record of Duran, it's pretty solid. 299 batting average, a 366 OBP, and a 468 slugging with an 834 OPS over 300 plus minor league contests. That means he's gonna hit for average, he's gonna get on base, and when you add in the fact of the 24 steals that he showed last year, this is a dude you could be sitting on who might have a 2040 season well within his range. That is a stunning possible return for a guy who's being drafted outside the top 200 players currently as of recording this video. So Jaron Duran is a great late target for the outfield spot, especially in those leagues with five active outfielders, which so many experts are playing him, and that's why you're seeing Duran go a little bit earlier in some of those big NFBC drafts. So pay attention to that, learn from the experts, and draft Duran late in 2024. Number 10, Zach Neto, shortstop Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Zach Neto got 84 games at the big league level last year, hit nine home runs, but he hit just 225 with a 308 OBP and a 377 slugging. Gross. Why is he on this list then, you're asking? Well, because the experts are looking at the minor league track record. Even though it was short, just 48 games, he crushed minor league pitching. 321 batting average, a 410 OBP, a 551 slugging, and a 961 OPS. Zach Neto is going to have the shortstop job for the Angels in 2024. So if you have patience, this could be a player that could get better as the season goes on. And right now he is basically a free square. That's why the experts are drafting him. The opportunity for a season much like CJ Abrams last year that came on strong towards the end could be in Neto's future as well. This was a very solid college hitter and that's the player the experts are betting on showing up as 2024 goes on. So remember, practice patience if you draft Neto, stash him on the bench if you have to, and wait and see if the second half bears fruit which could be a great addition to your fantasy roster. Remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Number 11, Tampa Bay Rays second baseman Brandon Lau. Now, the lefty slugger has always been a guy you can count on for power at the second base position. 2022 was a bit of a wash with injury, and last year he played just 109 games, but he did it 21 homers over those 109 games, and he also drove in 68. Lau's going to be in the middle of this Tampa Bay Rays lineup right now, and his ADP right now is off the charts, way, way lower than it should be in the 200s. Lau could be a player that could step in, give you some power and also some speed too. He did steal seven bags over those 109 games. He's probably better suited to a middle infield job as opposed to your starting second baseman, but there's no way a hitter with that kind of proven commodity, regardless 
of the low batting average should be going this late. The experts are price enforcing, and so should you. So when you're taking stabs later in your draft, take a stab on a proven veteran in the middle of a lineup on a competitive team like Brandon Lau. And number 12, Matt Wallner, outfielder for the Minnesota Twins. Some of you might be saying, Matt who? But if you weren't paying attention last year, Matt Wallner had a pretty good 76 game run for the Minnesota Twins in 2023. He had 14 homers, drove in 41 RBI. He hit just 249, but he did have a slugging percentage of 507 and OPS of 877 and currently being drafted outside the top 300 players. That seems a little crazy to me. How about you? He is slated right now to be the everyday left fielder for the Minnesota Twins. We all know the Twins can be a spot where there's a lot of fluctuation with players in and out. We've been waiting for guys like Kirilov and guys like Larnick to really live up to their potential, but they've all fallen short, not to mention Byron Buxton. So Walner's in an interesting spot here. He might be hitting lower in the order to start the season, but the minor league numbers for Walner are encouraging. A 274 career batting average, 387 OBP, a 511 slugging, and an 898 OPS. That seems like a player we want to get on our rosters in 2024, doesn't it? Now, that wasn't a small sample. That was a 300 game sample over four years in the minor leagues. So keep an eye on Walner in those deeper leagues because the experts are keeping an eye on him and stashing him on their bench late in drafts. So you should too. There you have it, everybody. I want to hear from you, though. Who do you think the experts are drafting? Drop your comments below and subscribe to the YouTube channel of Fantasy Bros MLB. Don't forget to ring that bell till it goes ding and take advantage of our amazing offer right now over on Underdog. Sign up today, get a $100 deposit match when you use that promo code FPMLB and start putting these players, the experts are drafting, on your underdog rosters and your rosters everywhere. That'll do it for me, Joey P. We'll see you next time, kids.